Hi there, this is Ranjit and in this video I'm going to talk about the MediaTek Helio P70 SoC which was just announced earlier today and I got a press release and as you can see it's almost four papers uh, with and a lot of information but I'll try to summarize what is new about this chipset and this chipset is the successor to the very popular Helio P60 that we have seen on uh, uh, quite a few popular smartphones so let's see actually what uh, this new chipset does and to uh, summarize i would say this one has a new apu they also say that this has something new thing called real-time human pose recognition and uh, obviously uh, gaming has improved also thermals have improved it has a new isp that aids in better camera uh, and also it, uh, it's going to accept the new screen aspect ratios up to uh, 20 s to 9. so let's get on this and again like the helio p60 chipset this one is also based Based on the 12 nanometer process hence it's a very efficient uh, chipset again it's a quad uh, octa-core chipset just like the p60 uh, but again this also has a multi-core multi-threaded apu uh, which is clocked at 525 uh, megahertz for fast and efficient ai recognition and a lot of uh, new things they have done for ai on this one this one is also uh, actually a octa-core processor divided into two quad core parts that is the arm cortex a73 and they say that it can be clocked up to 2.1 gigahertz this is the powerful core and the other uh, quad core is the power efficient one that is based on the arm cortex a53 and they say that it can be clocked up to uh, 2 gigahertz known as the big and little architecture now moving to the gp also here we see some improvements and uh, here they say uh, it has the mali g73 mp3 gpu uh, with a clock uh, speed that can be clocked up to 900 megahertz for improved gaming and they say that it improves uh, about 13 percent in performance compared to the helio p60 so the gaming performance should improve with this one now moving to uh, other things that is actually new on this one and uh, they say that they have a apu which is an accelerated real-time human post recognition system this is something new on this one and um, they say that with this one they can achieve real-time human post recognition uh, at 30 fps for up to three persons simultaneously which is actually pretty new and they said this is possible uh, due to the new efficiency in the p70 chipset and the neuropilot enhancements that they have done and they said they have partnered with the uh, what do you say face plus plus for this so uh, this real-time human interaction stuff can be used in a lot of ways for example in ar this can be actually used also in uh, uh, we have seen some fun stuff with cameras applications that can be used in real time effects for example also for real time beauty uh, you do it it is will be it will be aiding in that so all that things ar and other stuff uh, can be applied in real time uh, using this one now moving to uh, ai engine uh, again they say enhancements have been done even to the ai engine and they say that the ai engine now delivers us about 10 to 30 percent improvements compared to the helio p60 again as you can see this is an improvement to the helio p60 which was a actually pretty good chipset so nice to see they're working on ai and just like the p60 uh, again uh, the p60 uh, uh, p70 this one new one also has a neural platform which is an open platform for ai for example it supports open ai platforms uh, like tensorflow tf light uh, caffeine caffeine 2 and custom third party offerings and they also have a sdk just like the p60 so again developers can work and enhance the ai what do you say features or they can implement in their applications now moving to another thing is that they have also added an ai to their video encoder they say and uh, according to them they say that this enhances the video uh, uh, call quality even on low bitrate connection let's say the connection on a mobile data is not that good then also the video quality uh, will be actually good with this chipset and this video solution is actually deeply integrated directly into this p70 70 chipset uh, it's a hardware encoder guys uh, so it's very deeply integrated in the chipset for a very high efficiency and uh, they say that this can be actually used to enhance call video calls for example let's say skype they say facebook video calls and even for youtube live this can be actually helpful now finally moving to gaming and they say that um, they have improved the overall gaming performance uh, again it's because of the new gpu and they say that uh, in popular games uh, uh, actually uh, it uh, avoids frame rate jitters and stuff and the soc provides about seven percent better performance and also about 35 percent less power it consumes in gaming so i'm also assuming that uh, also with uh, what do you say heavy gaming and stuff it will heat a lot less because now it's consuming a lot less uh, 
power so again for high sustained uh, gaming also this one is better they say now moving to camera features again camera has become a very important part these days of the soc and they say here also they have done improvements and uh, again ai they have added uh, quite a bit of ai features this for real time beautification scene detection like we see on other ai phones and uh, and even ar ar capabilities as augmented reality uh, improvements have been done directly on this that can be used by the camera and also they say that uh, because of the ai this chipset has deep learning face uh, facial detection and uh, has about 90 percent accuracy which is an improvement over the last one and now moving to the camera sensors here also they say uh, they have improved it and it can support single cameras up to 32 megapixel and uh, dual camera configurations up to 24 plus 16 megapixel so if vendors want to add very high resolution cameras they can actually now do this with the p70 chipset and obviously it does support that bokeh mode and that portrait mode and other stuff also uh, they say that it's having a three isp which is tuned uh, to provide better performance and specifically improved what you say power efficiencies when using the camera and they say that uh, it reduces the power consumption by almost 18 percent compared uh, to the earlier generation of the helio processor so again that's actually a pretty uh, good thing so hopefully uh, we should see a lot uh, of improvements in the camera front with this uh, new uh, chipset also they said improvements have been done to hdr photography uh, and uh, it has that unique hdr raw processing for hdr centric enhancements also uh, it's ideal for hdr obviously bokeh photography and other things that we expect with the modern chipset now moving to connectivity here also they said that the p70 comes with the latest 4g lt uh, modems and speeds up to 300 megabits downloads and uploads up to 150 megabits can be done uh, on this one and also as th like the p60 and other mediatek chipsets latest one this one also supports uh, dual 4g volte so you don't have to worry about it and all this one also has the smart antenna system that they call the mediatek smart antenna technology tas version 2 which uses the uh, best antenna to get you the best reception uh, based on the quality and other stuff and now finally moving to the displays again guys uh, the soc actually uh, determines what kind of display can be used on your smartphone and with this p70 they say it is going to support displays up to 20 is to 9 aspect ratio generally these days we are seeing the new 18 is to 9 and even 19 is to 9 but with this one yes it will obviously support all those but will also support displays up to 20 is to 9 with full hd plus resolution and uh, now moving lastly to the power management which is again an important part of the chipset again they have improved uh, it and they say that they have this new thing called the core pilot 4 technology where it continuously monitors how a uh, handset is used and uh, also manages the thermal management to get prolonged battery life and optimum usage and it also monitors the ux internally to get the best performance so expect uh, uh, also improvements in terms of battery life compared to uh, their earlier chipsets so again uh, and also they say because of this uh, according to them uh, the battery life should be longer and also in terms of operating temperatures with sustained usage this chipset generally uh, heats up about 4.5 degrees celsius lower uh, improving the user experience so good thing is that you'll get better battery life and also the handset will not heat too much as of now uh, we don't have any handsets that are having the helio p70 chipset but they said that uh, by november end there should be some uh, smartphones coming out with this new mediatek helio p70 chipset so to sum it up uh, guys again this uh, helio p70 chipset looks like a good successor to the p p60 chipset and uh, hopefully we will be getting new handsets with this one very soon so can't wait to test them out because definitely the p60 was a game changer in the mid-range segment i'm hoping that the p70 would be the same so anyways guys uh, that was it for this uh, quick uh, look overview about the helio p70 chipset if you have any other questions regarding this one do let me know in the comment section uh, i'll be more than happy to answer them and guys if you're still not subscribed to my youtube channel hit that subscribe button thanks for watching this is ranjit and i hope to see you in my next video take care guys